little update from the Nomad Town about the project of building this windmill. Um, this is a windmill by a tutorial where the link will be in the descriptions. This is the third part of the series, to my knowledge. Um, in the last episode, we have assembled like formers and wing parts together to get into this shape. As you can see, they're very wobbly. But once they are connected with the uh, other pieces, they are not wobbly at all. They are really stable things. So two of these veins have been assembled already now and four more to come. They are the missing pieces that need to be put together. Altogether so far, um, 100, a bit less than 100 rivets for just those two veins. So. Yeah, the, the choice of tools is a bit of a challenge, but also it's not really a choice of tools. Um, this is just what is there. And it's nice to see what is possible to do without electricity. So it's all possible uh, working. And here are some experiments of how to make connections. Um, this is just made using a screwdriver, punching holes and bending over, just seeing how strong these are. And it's just used with a knife punching through with a knife and bending over. Uh, the thing is that means you need to have access from the back side. So that's a bit of a minus, but still working on it, there might be a possibility to do something. Um, yeah, so, and the question, why building this thing, right? Uh, in the moment with the sunlight outside, it's really enough solar power available for mobile phone and electricity for lights. Yeah, these are basically the essentials, right? The electricity for the light and the communication, because communication is a community tool and community is a survival priority. The thing is, the question is like, why building this windmill if I already have one? So there is a windmill that I bought secondhand from a flea market and uh, that is not assembled. I didn't put it up because what I actually wanted to find out is like, that was a quick thing, a quick buy. And now I see like I need to find out something that is possible to do for others because not everybody can buy a second-hand windmill on the flea market. There are not so many. And building new windmills is also not an option because I believe that we cannot afford using resources for something that we don't really, really need. Um, so electricity, do we really, really need it? Yeah, to some extent communication is useful and, uh, and the lights and... Yeah, we can argue about medical uses and transport, I don't know. So anyhow, um, this is like, yeah, using recycled materials that are really quite accessible, quite available. So very excited about seeing what is possible. And um, even though it's now enough solar light outside and also not so much need for electricity, um, I think it's good to, to try. Um, some people might be excited, like, oh, it's possible to have electricity. I'm not needing to giving anything up. Because people, th I think most of us, we think that we need to give something up. And we don't think that, like, it's actually upgrading. Like, we think it's reducing. It's, uh, but it's upgrading, actually. It's really upgrading. So, yep. That's it for now. Have a wonderful time, everyone. And I probably have forgotten something. Have a good time. Bye-bye.